<laughs> what? What have I just witnessed? Seriously, where's this team been all season? Bar Everton away, we haven't played anything like that all season. Even when we've won, it's been scrappy or it's been bursts of 20, 30 minutes uh, where we've looked good. But this, it was a full 90 minutes of pure dominance. There wasn't one minute in that game where I thought we were going to lose it. And before the game, I was so sceptical because... You know, we had a team sheet and it included Fellaini and Carrick in the midfield. We know how that partnership's been in the past. Lingard on the wing, who hasn't been amazing for, uh, you know, a fair few weeks. But this proves what I've been saying for so long. It is not the players. It is the tactics, the way we play, the freedom that the players were restricted from. And that has now been totally unshackled. And we can see how good this team can be. Okay, it's only one game, and obviously I'm getting overly excited, purely because I haven't seen us play like this all season. So we need to show consistency, but it, it, if you watch any nil-nil game or one-nil game this season, you'll you'll see the difference, all right? It's not the players, it's, it's the way they've been told to play. And it was just completely different. We were using the wings, we were running in behind, we were creating space, getting chance upon chance upon chance. It was so good to watch, like, so refreshing. And our, the goals we scored were, were brilliant, all right? The second goal, the counter-attack, it reminds me of the goal, I think it was against Arsenal, where Park sends it down to Ro uh, Rooney on the counter. Rooney squares it for Ronaldo, and he, he just smashes it in. Honestly, it reminds me of that goal. It was sublime, literally. I'm, j I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just shocked. I'm so shocked. But, yeah, the first goal was the birthday boy, Cameron Brothwick Jackson getting a ridiculously good cross in literally right from the corner flag and he somehow got an out swinger to get it away from Butland, get past all the defence and it's an easy header for Lingard. Admittedly it wasn't the greatest header and Butland perhaps should have saved it but I'm not I'm not gonna complain at all. It was a goal Lingard got in the box, which is something that our players haven't been doing this season. We haven't been running into the box and creating you know, an opportunity to actually score with players in the box. And that's what we actually did. And it worked. And then the second goal was some great defence. Honestly, the defence was really strong as well. Stoke barely had a chance. And they ripped us apart when they played us away earlier in the season. But um, anyway, it's brilliant work. Um, I can't remember who started off, but it comes out to Carrick. And he, he punts the ball forward. I think it's Rooney. Passes it to Dormian. Dormian, lovely ball out to Mata. Mata takes it inside and gets past a player, then plays it back to Rooney, who's ran in. Rooney crosses it in for Martial, who's in so much space, and Martial just finesses it into the top of the corner. Oh, that was beautiful. Honestly, I, I was just just so, so shocked. I can't, just, I can't describe how shocked I was at the way we played today. It was sensational. And it just leads me to question why we couldn't do this all fucking season. Then maybe we would have had a chance at the league. Maybe it's me being a bit overhyped. But to be honest, if you look at some of our performances, if we could have played with the creative freedom that we did today, given how the league's been, how close it's been, we're only 10 points off the league. So three, three more wins against teams like you know Norwich, Bournemouth, Sunderland that we drop points against. Who knows? We could be, we could have been up there, but it's pointless seeing what could have happened. What's happening now is we're five points off Arsenal. I haven't even went through through the third goal. Actually, it was Rooney who just had a goal, cruelly uh, disallowed for a foul. But you know he, he didn't even care. He just banged one in straight after, and it was three 0 we, we the only downside is we probably should have made it more. We were all over them. Matter had a few opportunities. Matter's overall gameplay was good. His passing, his tracking back. But his shooting was awful. It really was. He could have had a hat trick today, and he didn't even score. But I'm I'm not going to be too negative. That's the best performance this season by a mile. But as I say, we're five points off Arsenal, who just drew against Southampton. Here's a stat for you: Arsenal have scored four goals in 2016. Rooney has five in the league. Oh my God, it, it's crazy. But they they seem to be the team to catch. All right. Leicester, stunning goal from Vardy. They beat Liverpool 2-0. They're now five points clear, I think. Man City still have to play. Spurs, 3-0 demolition against Norwich, I think. So, you know, they're above Arsenal now. And uh, I, I put a tweet out earlier in the season and people called me retarded for saying Spurs will win the league. We'll see how it goes, but that's my prediction. Like, generally, I, I'm 
honestly, Spurs have such a good squad. So the, the team realistically that we can catch is Arsenal. Not just because they're the closest, but we also play them in three games, I think. So if we can keep this momentum going, we can give Arsenal a game. We definitely can. If we play like that, we can give anyone in this league a game. And it, it just questions... Like, uh, oh, why couldn't we have done this whole season? Why? I, it, obviously, Stoke, they, they might have been on and off day, but it's just the play. It's the movement. It's everything. It was just a completely different United. Regardless how poor Stoke might have been, we played so much better than we did for most of this season and that's because we've been given freedom that's the only explanation they, the players can express themselves and it worked so hopefully we can gain that consistency and break into the top four and then who knows we'll see what happens but completely different from the Southampton game thankfully and yeah let's build on this